So welcome to the very first, should I call it an episode, of Dine by Design. So I thought I'd share three tips with you, um, three menu psychology tips that can help increase your sales. And although we focus primarily on food and beverage, I think if you are a service or product-based business that has a menu, then this totally applies to you, so enjoy. Um, the first tip is to be very cautious about where you place your pricing. If pricing is stacked, meaning it's all right justified and just stacked right on top of each other, then people are more likely to shop by price first. So they'll determine what their budget is and they'll shop by that category. Whereas if you place it right after a menu description so that it's kind of bouncing around the page, people still know where to find it because you're placing it in a, cons in a consistent manner but it is bouncing around, then people are actually more likely to shop by menu item first. So they buy into that, they've already committed to it, and then the price is an afterthought and it's a much easier pill to swallow. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is that uh, the upper right hand corner of a menu is prime real estate. Think about walking into a space. Um, reception desks are usually placed right in front of you or to the right. That just tends to be where we turn our attention to. So upper right hand corner is a good place to place higher value menu items, um, whether by cost or maybe it's a new feature that you're really trying to push and you want people to try. So upper right hand corner is a place to do that. Third tip is that photographs and illustrations help push a menu item sale by 30% more. Um, and photographs may not be the route for your particular bar or restaurant, but illustrations is a really good way to go around that. So let's say you have a menu item that has a feature ingredient of mushrooms. Then you could have a little illustration of a mushroom, it could be hand-drawn, that's, that's up to you based on your branding and your style. But if that's placed right next to the menu item, it's more likely to drive that sale. I'm not suggesting that you do this for every single menu item. It's a good way to kind of feature maybe the best of your dishes or the new stuff that you want people to try. There you go, that's your three tips for menu psychology. Have an awesome day.